Happy New Year! If you're new, I'm Samantha and I was diagnosed with cancer last March. Ever since I was diagnosed, I've had people tell me that I'm too young to have cancer. I knew it was a rare thing, but does that really matter? People way younger than me get cancer too. Like, little kids get cancer. So, if I'm too young, then they're definitely too young. So I just kept thinking, why is this such a big deal? I mean, I knew having cancer was a big deal, but why was it a bigger deal for me? Isn't it just as bad to have cancer when you're 70 as when you're 20? Is there really an ideal time to have cancer? No. And I thought that I'd much rather have to deal with this now than when I'm 40 or something because by that point I could have a husband and I could have kids and a bunch more people to depend on me, more people than already do depend on me. Going through cancer treatments when you have to provide for a family would really suck. <laughs> By the way, breast cancer still is really rare when you're 40, and sure, it gets even rarer as you get younger, but who cares? When you find out you have cancer, it's a complete shock and it affects your life no matter what age you are. So I was like, why are people telling me that I'm too young? Because most of the people who are telling me that are older cancer survivors. I'm doing the treatment and it's fine and I'm handling it fine. I'm going to get through this and then it's going to be over. But the thing that I now understand is that it's not ever really over. When you get cancer, it kind of sticks with you for the rest of your life. It kind of sounds dramatic and cheesy and whatever, but this is what I mean. So back before I found out I had cancer, I was your average 22-year-old, just out of college, into the real world, not really knowing what I was doing at all. I wouldn't really say that I had the I'm invincible mindset as much as some people had at my age, but, you know, I was a perfectly healthy person in my early 20s, so Obviously, there was some of that. When you're 20, you don't really know what you're gonna do with your life. And once you get past that last year of college where everyone's like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? And everyone's in this huge panic and everything. You start to think and you're like, okay, um, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'll try this. And if it doesn't work out, I'll try something else. There's not really any rush. But when you're hit with something like cancer, your mindset completely changes. And it didn't really hit me until I was done with chemo and I was done with surgery and I was moving on to the last big step of my process, which was radiation. The quote, hard stuff was over and I was starting to think about the future again. But the entire, I've got a whole life ahead of me mindset turned into a life is so short mindset. Life is so short. So I started having this anxious feeling where I felt like, okay, now I've got to get out and I've got to go do all the things. It's very much like that feeling you get at the end of college when you feel like everyone knows what they're doing with their life and you're still trying to figure out how to get yours together. But instead of your brain coming in and telling you, hey, relax, it's okay that you don't have everything figured out yet, you're still young. Now your brain's coming in and telling you, hey, you've got to relax and pretend like you don't have a disease that could completely limit your time on this earth. Maybe it will limit your time, maybe it won't limit your time, but you've got to pretend like you know that it won't because that's the only way that you can remain sane. It's not like I wasn't living my life to the fullest. I wouldn't change anything that's happened in my life so far. And, you know, of course you always have in the back of your mind that you can die at any moment, but when you get cancer, that kind of becomes more real, less hypothetical in a way. I don't know if this makes any sense. Um, it's really hard to describe, but I know that other cancer survivors get it. They know exactly what this feeling is that I'm describing. I am younger than a bunch of those people because more people who get cancer are old. Those people who are older remember what their lives were when they were 22 and they remember what their mindset was, and then they know what their mindset is now. So those people that are telling me that I'm too young to have cancer, they're not telling me that I'm too young to go through the treatment or that I can't handle it. What they really mean by saying I'm too young to have cancer is that I'm too young to have the who knows how much time I have left mindset instead of the I've got all the time mindset. Once you have cancer, you don't know if it'll come back. You don't know if it can come back more aggressively 
or in a different location. And then once that happens, you have to do everything over again. And all of this is more likely when it's been stage four. It takes away who you were. I mean, obviously I'm the same person, but cancer kind of took a lot from me. It took away like physical things like my hair, and then it, it took away my energy, which is a really big thing. It took away a big chunk of my life that I had to spend sitting in the hospital going for treatments or missing days of work or lying in bed feeling nauseous. It's forcing me to do hormone therapy for five to 10 years and that can completely mess with your body. And if you just knew that you had to deal with it for five years and then everything will go back to normal, then it wouldn't be so bad. That's not really the thing that's hard about this. It's not doing the treatment itself. It's the uncertainty of what's going to actually happen because you can't know that. If you sprain your ankle, Maybe you can't use it for a while, you'll have to use crutches for a while, and you can't walk on it. And it'll be really inconvenient for a little while, but then after that, you'll be able to walk on it again and things will go back to normal. With this, you could never be normal again. You're kind of not ever normal again, first of all, and second of all, you never know if it could come back. So you don't know if you will ever not have to deal with some sort of thing that is causing you to be less than yourself. You could be taking medication for the rest of your life that drains your energy. You feel like you can't do the things that you used to do. But we all have to pretend that we definitely will be normal again because that's the only thing that can keep us sane and it's the only thing that will keep us going on all the medication and all the annoying stuff that we have to do right now. If you think, okay, my life's gonna be inconvenienced for this period of time and then it'll go back to normal, it's not as bad. So you've gotta think like that. You've gotta think definitely things are gonna work out. That's why people who have cancer are so positive because if they aren't, I mean, the other choice is to just think you're gonna die. I don't understand why people always are like, man, it's so strong of you to be going through this and for you to be doing all the treatment because they're, the other alternative is just to not do it and to die. So it doesn't make any sense when people say that. I'm trying to explain all this, but it's really impossible to completely explain. And a little while ago, I was having a conversation with friends and this happens a lot actually. I, I can't tell you how many times I've had this conversation with people. We were talking about someone we knew that was gonna get married. When two people are getting married and they're still in college, there's like all of a sudden all this criticism. Why would you want to do that while you're still in college? There's so much stuff that you have to figure out first. What if you fall in love with something else and then that person that you just married keeps you from doing the things that you love and what if you want to travel somewhere? You don't want that commitment holding you back and you don't want a commitment holding back your partner. That's the mindset that a lot of people in their 20s have nowadays. And I'm not saying it's wrong, like if you have that mindset for yourself, then it's fine. You should do what's going to make you happy. There is never, ever, 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 ever a way to 100% know if something is the right decision. If you're young, yes, you do have time. There's things that you can figure out. You might fall in love with different things. Sure, that's all true. You don't need to rush, but don't let that hold you back from something that you actually really wanna do. So if you want to travel somewhere, do it. Go see the thing. If you wanna get married, do it. It's fine if something someone else does isn't right for you. We're all different and we all have different reasons for doing things, but being too young shouldn't ever be an excuse. As long as you're an adult, being too young shouldn't ever be an excuse. <laughs> We're all too young. You're always too young. In anything that you do, anything, you're too young. You don't have the experience until you do it. I was too young to have cancer. Everyone is. But now that I've had it, everything that has come with it everything that has changed me mentally and physically, it will stick with me for the rest of my life. And now I'm not too young. And that before cancer mindset is gone and it will be gone for forever. And I can't go back to it. That's all I have for today. I'm sorry this video was all over the place. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you think it'll help someone, share it with them. 
Also subscribe to my channel to follow along with my cancer adventures and follow me on Instagram for more updates. Yep, that's all. Bye.